Hello, everybody. This is Kathy Koliakova with PepperItMarketing.com. And today I'm going to walk you through how to fix fuzzy images on your blog posts. This is something that uh, one of my virtual assistants noticed recently in um, when I was reviewing one of the blogs she did. And I'm like, your image is fuzzy. And she's like, I know. And I don't know how it got there. I don't know what made it happen. So that's what I'm going to walk you through because it's something that often happens and it just depends on how you upload that image to your website or to your blog post. So this um, theory in this lesson can actually apply to web pages just as easy as it can blog posts. So often we'll make images for our newsletters. So we have an image like this and you can see it looks a little blurry on there. It's not very clear and fuzzy. So typically what happens with this is someone has uploaded it and tried to, in the upload, sort of make it fit as a different size. So I'm going to show you what would happen in this case. So let's just pretend we're going to add a new image to here. And I'm going to start and I'm going to take a brand new one. And you can actually see here, this is the actual image that we were looking at. You can see how much clearer that is there than in the one here. So this is where the problem lies, is that in, there's a way that it got added to there that it didn't come out in the right um, format for it. So typically what we're doing, let's just say we're gonna upload an image of a desk here, okay? So I'm gonna just grab this one here. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna grab that because it'll be way too big on my website. So I'm gonna grab one that I would have used in one of my newsletters. So let me just, get one of these because we always shrink those before we upload them. So if you don't know what I'm talking about there, you can go back and look on my website, on my blog. There's another article um, recently that I had done that talks all about shrinking the images on your website uh, before you put them up on your website. Um, just because one of the biggest things that can slow down the speed of your website is images that are... Um, are too large. So I use a tool called shortpixel, P-I-X-E-L.com. And I walk you through how to use this and do that in another blog post. So that's just another tip for you there. So with this one, I'm going to grab this image here. So oftentimes what will happen is people will grab it. Um, don't forget to punch in your alternative text here. So depending on what the topic is, write that in. And then a lot of times what they'll do is they'll let it go size down. And so when you do that, then you punch it in, it looks blurry. Can you see how that looks a little bit blurry? So here's what you do to fix this. Um, and this is, I'm showing you this one on the images on blog posts so that you can see how it happened. But I'm actually gonna delete that one. Now I'll show you how it fixes on there. So you hit the edit button, you go back here and hit full size. Oftentimes I will find custom sizes put in there too. So you want these images to be uploaded at their full size and put in there. And then if you want them smaller, you can hit the shift button and grab a corner when you get the arrow and shrink it to whatever size you want. But you can see how it's a lot clearer now. Doing it this way when you upload an image to your blog post is the best way to make that happen so that you don't get the fuzziness. So I'm gonna actually delete this one because that's not the one I want on this. This is actually the one that belongs on this blog. So I'm gonna hit edit. You can see it said custom size there. So I'm gonna go back to full size, hit update, and you can see the clarity has got in there. I actually don't shrink mine a lot smaller than this. I usually leave them in. But if I did wanna change it, I'm gonna hit the shift button and drag it to whatever size I want. And then I'm gonna update it to keep the size in there. So that is how you go in. If you notice that your images are fuzzy, most likely when you've uploaded it, you've hit, you know, resize it like to a different one. And it gives you that option right away. Um, I'll show you again what it looks like. So when you go to upload a file, whatever one it is that you pick, I'll just pick another one here, here me and my deck, you open it it automatically is trying to put it to a medium size. So don't let that do it right there at the moment. Change it to full size, put it in the blog post, and then go resize it afterwards yourself. So that is the best way to make sure that you don't have fuzzy images on your blogs and you don't want to have them on there because it will make it harder. It will distract people from reading your information. So when you take a look and you go back and check, and you always should be checking your posts after you put them out there online and publish them, 
you always want to make sure that you're going in and you're looking at the options that you've got here. I might actually have another fuzzy one here. It might actually just be getting that. No, it's just getting that because it was the featured image. So it resizes it. So always look, if it looks fuzzy, hit edit post, go into the edit button on the image and try resizing it. And that will be one way that you can make sure that people are getting good, clear content on your information on your blog posts. Or as I said, that could easily happen on a website page too when you're uploading a post or a picture to a, a page. So that is my tip for you today on how to uh, clear up the fuzzy images you might have on your blog posts or website pages. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you go back and check some of yours out and see how they look live and online. And if they look a little bit fuzzy, then you may want to go in and do a little bit of updating. This is Kathy Koliakovo with PepperMarketing.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button here and you'll be able to get notified of any new video tips and tricks I might have to help you with your online marketing. And you can always feel free to go to my website and click on my resources and free stuff tab and you can get all sorts of different types of freebies to help you out. My current favorite is the three secret benefits of blogging. So if you get that um, and you can click the link at the end of this video as well to go in and get your three secret benefits of blogging for business, learning how you can save time and get more results from your blog posts. So thank you again. This is Kathy Koliakovo and I wish you all the success with your marketing and your blogging.